Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss kinetics of a uh, chain transfer reaction. And in last lecture, as we have discussed, in case of uh, kinetics of free radical polymerization, uh, wherein we have considered that the loss of active center or the chain was terminated by coupling only. So there are several other mechanisms also by which the chain transfer can take place and hence we need to consider all of them also. So uh, this particular theory was uh, given by Flory and Mayo and uh, they said that the active center or there are uh, four possible methods by which the active centers can be lost. Out of them the first method is to another chain that is as we know by coupling so first method is by to another chain the second method is loss to the monomer the third one is loss to the initiator and the fourth one is the loss to the solvent so these are the four methods by which the active center of the propagating chain may be lost and hence termination will take place so as we have seen in our previous class that is degree of polymerization we can write it as it was rate of propagation to the rate of termination and over here the termination is taking place by four methods now suppose if we write this is our rate of coupling by monomer i can write rm initiator i can write r of i and this i can write as r of s so our total termination is due to all these four possible ways or all these four possible paths and hence i can write rate of propagation is equal to rc plus rm plus ri plus rs so th these are the four possible um, modes of uh, termination hence our degree of polymerization will be rp upon all these terms okay where rc rm ri and rs are respectively the rates of transfer to another chain transfer to monomer transfer of active center to initiator and transfer to the solver now individually we will find out the rate of all this so the first one is rate of coupling and hence the rate of coupling as we know or as we have seen in our previous lecture uh, we can write rc is equal to will be equal to the rate of initiation and that will be equal to we have seen phi kd into i so this is our rate of coupling the second so this is our first this is our first mechanism the second will be our chain transfer to monomer and chain transfer to monomer suppose we have this is our propagating chain and we have monomer so it will become rm plus now this monomer will get the active center so this is this is how the chain transfer will take place and hence you can write chain transfer to the monomer or rate of chain transfer to the monomer will be equal to km into i can write rm naught into m so this will be our rate now the third mechanism is to the initiator and suppose this is again our active center now this i is our initiator and hence i can write rm into i sorry it will be rm plus i will form our free radical so this is the termination by transfer of the active center to the initiator and hence i can write rate is equal to ki into rm into i so this will be our rate the fourth one is the transfer to the solvent so i can write rm plus s it gives rm plus transfer will take place or the free radical will be transferred to our solvent and hence we can write rs is equal to ks into rm into s so this will be our rate now what we will need to do is we will substitute this 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 and this term in this particular relationship and hence when we substitute all these four terms in our relationship we will have x bar n is equal to rp rate of propagation in write rp 
upon we will have 5 kd into i plus km into rm into m plus we have ki into rm into i plus ks into rm into s so this will be our relationship and further we know that rate of propagation as we have seen in the last lecture rp i can write it as kp into rm dot into m dot so this will be our rate of propagation rp and we will take the reciprocal of this term so this will become or numerator will become denominator and denominator will become numerator and hence we can write 1 upon x bar n is equal to i will take reciprocal and individually substitute this value so we will have 5 kd into i upon kp into rm dot into m plus km into rm dot into m upon again uh, suppose i will write this term as 1 so i can divide by 1 plus ki into rm dot into i divide by again 1 plus ks into rm dot into s divide by i will have 1 okay now from this particular or i can write kp into rm dot into m so over here rm dot rm dot and both these terms will be cancelled out from here we have rm dot and rm dot will be cancelled out and from here also rm dot and rm dot will be cancelled out so we will we are left with 1 upon x bar n is equal to phi into kd into i upon kp into rm dot into m plus we have km upon kp plus we have ki into i upon kp into m plus ks into s upon we have kp into m so this is the relationship that we are left with or as we have seen in previous lecture that rp it was equal to we had kp into phi kd upon kt raised to 1 by 2 into m into i raised to 1 by 2 okay so this was the value of rp and uh, we all also had the value of rm dot uh, that is rm dot it was equal to phi kd upon kt raised to 1 by 2 into i raised to 1 by 2 so this was our value of rm so this value of rm i can substitute it over here okay and then the first term only the first term will be multiplied and divided okay that is we will substitute this value of rm in this particular relationship and then we will multiply the first term only by concentration of m into kt raised to 1 by 2 okay so when we multiply and divide this term by m into kt raised to 1 by 2 and we will substitute the value of rm then the relationship we will get is 1 upon xn bar is equal to so over here when we substitute this value in the numerator we will have phi kd and i raised to 1 by 2 and this whole relationship it will be converted into we will have kt into rp upon kp into m square plus this was as such km upon kp plus ki into i upon kp into m plus ks into s upon kp into m okay so this will remain as such uh, we can substitute in place of km upon kp this can be substituted by cm uh, ki upon p 
can be substituted by ci and ks upon kp can be substituted by cs because all these are constant and this will be chain transfer constant for monomer chain transfer constant for initiator and chain transfer constant to the solvent okay so our relation will take the form x bar n is equal to kt into rp upon kp square lp square into m square plus cm plus ci into i into m plus cs into s upon m so this will be our relationship and under experimental condition of constant rp upon m square and then eliminating the chain transfer to the monomer and to the initiator okay that is under experimental condition of constant rp upon m square that is this will remain constant and and by eliminating the chain transfer to the monomer and initiator because the amount of chain transfer to the monomer and the initiator is very less and hence we can omit this so if we are keeping rp upon m square constant then whole this term will become constant and if this term is constant then this term we can write it as 1 upon x bar n 0 okay plus both this we are eliminating so we, will, we are left with s upon m so this will be our relationship and over here by using the various ratios of solvent to the monomer that is by using various ratios of solvent to the monomer the plot of graph of 1 by x bar n versus this that is a graph of 1 by x bar n versus concentration of solvent to the concentration of monomer is plotted and we will get a straight line and if the straight line or the value of straight line will be equal to the slope because we have y is equal to mx plus c this is constant so y is equal to mx plus c so obviously the slope which we will get will be equal to our cs okay so over here if the value of cs is equivalent to 1 then those solvents are known as regulators and if the value of cs is greater than 5 then they will yield a low molecular weight polymer so hence because the amount of transfer to the monomer and initiator are very less the only possibility is either it can be termination by coupling and for termination by coupling we have already seen in the previous lecture and the next condition is termination by the transfer to the solvent and if termination by transfer to the solvent is taking place then this will be our relationship so if we plot a graph of 1 by x bar n versus concentration of solvent to the monomer because experimentally we can determine or when we perform experiment the concentration of solvent and monomer is known and the molecular weight or the degree of average degree molecular weight or average degree of polymerization is known so both these values can be plotted and that in that value or over here this relation is like y is equal to mx plus c where this is the constant term and hence when we plot a graph of these two variables and take the slope then that slope will be equal to our cs and if the value of slope is equivalent to one then those solvents are known as regulators and regulators means they regulate the average degree of polymerization or average molecular weight of the polymer and if cs is greater than five then they will yield a high molecular or sorry the if cs is greater than five then they will yield a low molecular weight polymer hope the topic was clear thank you very much